Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over a sprinkler blowout. Wanted to uh, get a couple shots of this beautiful Colorado scenery on this nice fall day. Working in the new neighborhood. Uh, that's Pikes Peak there in the background. The first thing you want to do is figure out where your sprinkler system goes into the house at. Um, it should come off of the sprinkler box and there should be a manifold system like this somewhere and there'll be a pipe that actually enters the house. You'll have to figure out where that is so that you can go in and shut the system off. So this is where ours is. It's down a crawl space, so we had to grab a ladder. Um, what we do is we're gonna walk over and there'll be a couple different shutoffs in the system. Uh, this one here, the one on, at the base is the actual cutoff for the whole house. And what you have to do is look up, see one's gonna run into the house like that, and the other one is gonna go back outside. That is the one that we want to shut off. That is your sprinkler line shut off. So we shut it off, and then there is a uh, little screw nipple right there that will have some water pressure on it. You wanna unscrew that and let all of that water out right there. Um, you could grab something to catch the water, but we're working in a basement that's not finished. It's plastic on the floor, over the top of dirt, so it didn't really matter to me. So then what you want to do is go find the sprinkler control box um, and turn that off because we won't be using it anymore. Then what we want to do is come outside and locate our actual sprinkler box, get the top popped off. You see, I already got my air compressor sitting there and got that line up. I like to get my air compressor out and get that charged up right away when I get on site. Um, then you want to look at your setup and figure out which way, how you're going to get air um, to the system. Mine's going to use this little female adapter um, for my quick connect. I'm just screw it up in there, grab a uh, wrench and tighten it down. It doesn't have to be too tight. You just want to get a little good seal in there. Then what you want to do from there is you want to continue to drain all of the other little valves. There's two more that on this system that I had to drain. Um, the one is another one of those little twist screws at the bottom. I had actually already drained it. That's why not much came out of it. Um, and then there is a drain valve on your sprinkler system itself where your block is. Um, I had actually already drained this too, but you see it's there at the bottom of the screen with the red lever. You just open it up, get all the water out of that, and then you want to close that back up. Then what I like to do is make sure my uh, pressure is correct. You got two gauges on, on this compressor. One is the actual pressure in the tank, and the second one on the left there is the pressure that is gonna be coming through the holes. I like to keep my pressure between 50 and 60. That little knob there adjusts it for me. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab my quick connect and connect up and air the system up. So now we go ahead and air the system up, connect our quick attach, um, grab a screwdriver, open the ball valve. You wanna open that line parallel with, with our actual line. Open that ball valve parallel with our line. That's gonna let the air go through. Then we wanna come down to the system. I like to start with the actual sprinklers and not the uh, any of the drip lines. Um, that way I know how many times I, you know, it takes me to cycle through and get the sprinklers um, cleared out. And then what I do is I reference that back with the drip line as well as, you know, um, using my using sound to kind of figure out when the drip lines are, are totally empty. So as you can see, it's, you know, the sprinklers are going, it's pushing water out, starting to um, starting to push air out there.
So here's the ball valve setup, just a close up view. Uh, when your screwdriver has the line parallel, it's open. When it's perpendicular, it is closed. Um, and that this is the way that I turn my air on and off to the system and let my compressor recharge. Um, you can do it a couple of different ways. It's just the way I like to do it. Um, once again, here's the system after I've cycled through it two or three times. Um, you can see there's nothing coming out of any of the sprinklers and kind of lets me know that line is blown out. So then I go back in the box, I turn the line that I was just working on off, and then I go to my next zone and I turn it on. And what I'll do is go back to my ball valve, open it back up, and we are going on another uh, zone. So now we're gonna be working on the zone that's further down by the street. Um, and it's the same thing, you just turn it on, get the water coming out and turn it off, let your compressor charge back up, turn it back on, you know, it takes two or three times. Um, as you can see, you know, this one, obviously further down in the line, so it still has water in it, but you just keep cycling through the system until the lines are blowing air and all the water's out. Our last line is a drip line zone, so um, we have to use our hearing to be able to tell when this one is actually uh, all the water is pushed out of the line. If you listen, you'll hear like a bubble. Now, after you cycle through it a time or two, maybe three, you shouldn't hear that bubbling sound anymore. It should just be the sound of air and I'll let you know that your drip lines are cleared out. So once I've completed all the zones, I like to actually go back through them one more time and make sure that I got all of the water cleared out of them. So now what we want to do is go ahead and start breaking everything down since we got every all the water out of the lines. I'm gonna take our quick connect, disconnect that. Um, and then we want to leave all of these lines halfway open. So not perpendicular or parallel to the um, lines. We just wanna leave these bleeder valves kind of in the middle of both of, you know, perpendicular or parallel. I wanna do the same thing um, with these shutoff valves. I'm going to leave those about halfway open so that no water gets trapped in the system. And we'll go ahead, put our lid back over our sprinkler system. So then we need to get back down in the crawl space and open our bleeder valve. I didn't do a good job of getting this on film, but it's the same bleeder valve we started with. Um, you just take it off, let it drain out, and then you're going to just screw that back on lightly so that water is still able to come out if any gets trapped. Thanks for watching the video. I'm going to leave you with Roman and a rainbow.